video how soaps and detergents are formed. Okay. So as the name suggests, it is saponification, and saponification means a process that involves the preparation of soaps. How are soaps formed? It is very interesting to know. And also we will be learning what actually soap does to us or a detergent does to the clothes so that it gets washed or so that we get cleaned. So basically it's nothing but the cleansing action of a soap or a detergent that we are going to learn. Alright. So first of all, how is soap made? Soaps are made from uh, these oils and fats. And these oils and fats are nothing from the plant or animal fats. Okay. So they are the triglycerides. What are triglycerides? They are nothing but fatty acids or you call them as fats. Triglycerides are complex ester molecules. You remember esters from esterification? Esterification we had these carboxylic acid and alcohol. When they combined, you remember this thing. I had a carboxylic acid which was ethanoid and an ethanol. When we treated them with a dehydrating agent, remember the dehydrating agent? Concentrated H2SO4, right? So that removes water from here and gives you an ester like this, right? This and this part will combine. This is a normal ester. When I say triglyceride is a complex ester molecule, that means, it. tri means three. If I have the same thing repeating, that will look a little complex, but here, now I say it's a simple ester, right? That is the only difference. What is the reason we are using these oils? Because they have so many conditioning properties, essential properties, they have fragrances. The raw material in the soaps are fats and oils, which are nothing but triglycerides. And triglycerides are complex ester molecules. Now these oils, simply an oil, exam, I'll give you a very simple example. If I want to make a coconut soap or I want to make a palm soap or if I want to make a soap that has rose oil in it. So what will I do? I'll take the essential oil, I'll heat or boil it with a strong base, strong alkali. They say alkali, alkali is nothing but base itself, okay? So we uh, boil it with a strong base and then we get our soap and the byproduct is also obtained which is flushed off or it is used in other processes. Obviously there goes a lot of other things also um, to fill the soap like there are fillers and there are other chemicals, other fragrances but the basic process of making a soap is oil boiled with a strong alkali. That's it. I'm going to write the reaction how is soap formed because that is important for your exam point of view. Here the esters they should have minimum of C14 to C18. Here the carbon should be minimum of 14 and maximum of 17 to 18. As I told you it's a triglyceride so I'll have a chain of it and it is a complex molecule. Same thing is being repeated. Right? Now, this is an ester that I need. And C17H35 means I have a long chain of hydrocarbons. Right? CH3, CH2, CH2. So, it will keep on repeating. So, if I make a bond line structure, that will look like this. Now, when I make this bond line, these ends, okay? These ends are nothing but CH3 or CH. C and H are covered in these points or these ends. Okay. If there is anything other than C and H, then we need to show that atom. Otherwise, you can simply show with these ends, with these zigzag lines. Okay. This ends mean there is one CH3. Like the CH3 I have shown with the end over here. Then again, the other line, here this is CH2, the other CH2 is this, okay, here also there is CH2, so how many CH2s will be uh, there, 16, 1 CH3, CH3, CH2, 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 again, so there will be a zigzag line like that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन और राइट नाउ द सेवेंटीन कार्बन इट हैज सॉरी द एटीन कार्बन दिस द एटीन कार्बन ऑफ इयर इट इज अटैच टू ओ एंड ओ सो यर आई विल शो ओ एंड अदर ओ ओके सो यू जस्ट हैव टू शो एनी आइटम विच इज अदर देन कार्बन ऑल द कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोजन विल बी इंक्लूड विल बी कवर्ड इन दीज जिग्जैक्ट लाइन्स नाउ I can just draw one line to show CH two. Example, if I had OH, in that case I have to write H because H is not attached to carbon. But whenever hydrogen is attached to carbon, I am not going to write that. Okay, I can show in the line also. So this is what a structure of long chain carboxylic acid or long chain ester. What is it? Right now it is ester. If I had an H over here. it will be carboxylic acid because then it will have c o o h and c o o h is the carboxylic acids symbol but here now we have ch3 that is the reason it is an ester with this we are going to add a strong alkali alkali means base because we need a strong alkali so we are using naoh we can also use koh because that is also a strong base if you remember from the polar nature of alcohol oxygen is more electronegative so it pulls electron towards it and if you are taking electron electron is negative so you are taking negative charge on yourself right so that is the reason this gets o minus understood so because it will be o minus and now i'll show all the charges to you then you will be able to combine the opposite charges okay because this is going to become minus so i'll put charges all over minus and this will also will become minus this will become plus if this is becoming minus this has to become plus fine and in na and oh it's a base and bases are the substances that give out oh minus hydroxyl ion na will be opposite na will be plus right now if you remember from double displacement reactions what used to happen ions used to exchange with each other opposite ions will exchange with each other so here also the same thing will happen this minus will be exchanged with positive of this and this plus will be exchanged with negative of this correct so if i exchange them in that order here i have three minuses here there is only one plus so to balance that i will require three molecules of naoh so that each of the minuses are balanced with each of the pluses now i'll write in one form only now when i'm writing the product i'll write because all of them are same so if i write thrice of c17h35coo that is also correct if i write c17h35coo minus again i write c17h35coo minus again i write c17h35coo minus this and this aren't they same they are same it means thrice of c17h35coo minus or this also is nothing but 3 times c17h35coo minus correct so i can write this together by putting a 3 in front all right so i will write to combine to balance this charge i should have a positive and where will i get that positive from here correct so if i combine that with this positive now i get c17 H thirty five C O O N A, and how will I name it? I told you it is a stearate. Stearate is nothing but its name. And if you remember the esters, they end with A T E ending, right? Their name endings are A T E. So, um, if you remember sodium ethanoate. So here also we have to name the later part first, and then follow with the beginning part. So the later part is sodium, correct? Sodium and it has come from stearate. 
so it is sodium stearate and there will be a by product also because we have balanced this minus and this plus what about the left out part so this ch2 ch ch2 will combine with the there are, if there are three nas there are three ohs also so now the by product will be ch2 ch ch2 this is plus that is minus so it will combine with the i better write h is over here clear you got thrice of sodium stearate and a glycerol this is called as glycerol what is the functional group over here oh so it is nothing but alcohol so this is the reaction for saponification now how can you simplify it you remember in the last video i have given that like if you have to show that with sodium ethanoate you can do that as well like you can take ethyl ethanoate plus naoh that will give sodium ethanoate plus ethanol you have to check the other video for that otherwise the proper actual saponification reaction will be this that can be given as an example because the soaps they have these long chain carboxylic acid there we had only uh, two carbons uh, carboxylic acid which was ethanoic acid but the reaction was similar so to um, show the saponification reaction obviously you can write that but for a proper preparation of soap you have to give this reaction okay so this is your if they ask write the formula of a soap or reaction for the process of soap then you will write this that was a general reaction and this by product is very important it has many uses it can be used in fuel it can be used in so many cosmetics it, it is also used in making glycerin it is used in uh, making dynamite also so there are so many uses of this glycerol remove the charges you don't need to write the charges that was only for your understanding Thank you.